Hey guys, Anushka here. Uh, today I want to talk about the word sorry. <laughs> um, they say that sorry seems to be the hardest word, but for some of us it seems to be the only word that we know. A friend pointed out to me recently that I say I'm sorry a lot. Um, I say it for no reason. And this was a few weeks ago and I didn't realize this. And so I started to pay attention and sure enough, yeah, I found that I do. I'm constantly saying sorry, sorry for things that I haven't yet done wrong. Sorry for sometimes simply being present. Just sorry, just sorry all the time for really pointless silly things. And I know this might not sound like a particularly important thing, but it got me thinking. And basically when we look at nature, you know, you look around, trees don't apologize for growing. You know, when there's a seed, they start to break through the ground. They don't apologize to the earth. They don't say, oh, excuse me, sorry for being here. You know, they understand that that is what they're meant to do. They do that. They do being a tree. Now, that might sound like an odd thing to say, but for those of us who find ourselves saying sorry all the time for no good reason, we usually find that we're people pleasers. We are people who perhaps in childhood were scapegoated on some level. Maybe we were the black sheep of the family and we are used to people piling blame and guilt on us. That's given us this mentality of being far too willing to accept blame. Now, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> now, this is something that I think it's really important to be aware of and conscious of because when we accept blame far too easily, when we are constantly in a sorry state, what we do is we make ourselves open for people to be able to take advantage of that. If we're constantly apologizing, people do pick up on it because it sends out a signal that you don't feel comfortable to be there, that you ultimately don't trust your choices, your decisions. Uh, hence you say sorry constantly, sorry for being here, sorry for doing that, you know. Something people notice how we speak and how we present ourselves says a lot about how confident we feel and our place in the world. So when we're constantly doing this, we're basically sending out signals to other people that, <laughs> hey, if you've got any shit, if you've got any frustrations, if you've got any anger, you can dump it on me. If you've got any blame to spare, I'll take it. That's basically what we're saying to the world. So I've now realized that it's really important to be aware of, of what we say and why we say it. Um, I've always known this, but especially with these two words, and I'm actually making a con conscious effort not to say I'm sorry all the time for no good reason. Uh, sometimes I apologize in a kind of pre not premeditating, what's the word, preempting kind of way, you know? If I think that someone may be annoyed by my decision or choice, I will apologize before they've even told me they are. And quite often what happens then is that person then sees an opportunity to blame you, even if they weren't going to. And then they will put the blame on you and, and you will be sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's very important to be aware of of the words we use and um, especially words like I'm sorry because it chips away at our self-esteem when we're constantly being sorry for who we are and apologizing for our mere presence. It's something that is very important to be aware of. So I just wanted to share that with you all today and I hope you're all well and healthy and wonderful. I will speak to you soon.